What's up, you guys? So it's Saturday morning, it's about 8, 20, 8, 30. We're about to leave the hotel, head over to Sun Harley Davidson, and uh, I've seen on live, it is packed out the race. We're gonna get out here, get started, get some interviews, have a good time today. You guys stay tuned, King Live. Alright guys, so we're right here at Sun Harley in Thornton, Colorado. And as you can see, I don't, I don't know it's about 845, whatever, it's going down. There's people and we're, there's people coming in, people on the ferry we pass. Let's go check it out, guys. Stay tuned, keep going. Once again, it is that time. What's up guys? Big Bob with Tales of a King. We're in Thornton, Colorado for the 11th annual Chicago Pride Ride. I'm a hurt Manny, you call him Manny, man. What's happening, my brother? Creator of this, uh, is it, would you call it an event? Would you call it a fundraiser? What would you, I mean, is it everything in one? Well, technically, really, it's a poker run. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Because we do a poker run, and the winner gets $1,000. It's just the biggest poker run. Uh, as you could tell, we got lights. Our bikes lined up from one end of the block all the way down to the other end of the block, taking up this whole street. Five deep, what is that, five, six deep? Wow. So yeah, we're, uh, it, it's a poker run that we raise money for Latin American Educational Foundation. A little bit about them, they were the oldest Hispanic nonprofit group in Denver, Colorado. So, uh, and all our money that we raise, 100% of the money that we raise goes to Latin American oh, Educational yeah, Foundation. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, this is this is Nick. He 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 just got the new job of uh, being with. Uh, what, what's your title over there? Uh, new president, CEO of the Latin American Education. Oh, right Foundation. on, man. Yeah, so we right. kind of threw him into the wolves. He wasn't uh, expecting all this, but uh, hey, it's his job now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Everyone knows who so, Nick is. Hey, uh, <laughs> this is Big Bob, and uh, yeah. 100% of the money from the poker run goes directly to Latin American Educational Foundation. Last year we raised over 70. We're hoping to beat that number, and I think we already did. Are we close? We're close, we're close. Okay. We're gonna get it today though, we'll get to Hell yeah. And you guys, it's almost nine, if not nine o'clock, and you got probably already, already what, a thousand bikes maybe? Oh more yeah, up. yeah. So we'll take a little walk and show you guys. You guys stay tuned. Yeah. All right, so Manny, this is the 11th annual Chicano Pride Ride. Did the whole thing, did this whole thing start with the intentions to give back to the Latino education? The Chicano Pride Ride was formed to give back to the community. That was first in mind was to give back to the community. We did it. What's up, my brother? We did it and uh, we didn't we didn't know it was gonna grow this big. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Right, right. Uh, when when we put when we put our minds together and uh, I was thinking how I'll do 10. Well, we're already on the 11th right. and uh, but yeah, it was always, always to give back to the community. And, it w and the education, Latino Education, American Education Foundation, is that something new or is that something that no, has we've been, been a part of it? Yeah, well, uh, we've been with them for a long time now. Um, they, they, uh, they see what we do and uh, they appreciate how our community comes together. Right. And uh, we, we give back. Last year, like I said, we raised over $70,000. Wow, and wow, this awesome. year we're gonna beat that. And uh, the community, that, that from, from every state that comes down, the, you know, we just, we support each other. All Raza, united, we love it, man. And that's the thing, you just said it. We are stronger together, right? Oh yeah. We are stronger together. Chicanos okay. Unidos, there's nothing, nothing we can't accomplish. You guys, we're gonna get some panoramic or some shots right now. This is, this is actually, I'm gonna say it. This is ridiculous, but in a good way. I mean, this is, and we still have another hour, right, before we take off? Yeah, well, what time uh, is it? I, have a, I don't even wear a watch. Well, yeah, over okay. an hour. So you guys stay tuned, man. There it is, the history of this Chicano Pride Ride. It got started the 11th annual, all from Latino American Education Latin Foundation. American Educational Foundation. Latin, sorry, Latin. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, man, if you didn't make it this year, try next year. Hey, we come together. None we, can, we can't accomplish. Si se puede. Si se puede. You guys stay tuned. King Live. What's up, Denver? How are you guys doing, man? We just want to say thank you once again. You know, Colorado, Colorado. I'm stuck on Denver, but uh, Colorado, man, we appreciate. You guys are doing something great out here. I don't know if you realize what you're doing, but this is huge. Um, you know, in, in all our travels, we've never seen anything like this. But so many bikes out here for one event, one purpose, and uh, we just want, we want to say thank you. And uh, thank you for having us, and thank you guys for doing such a great job. Thank you to Manny, thank you to Sun Harley, everyone. We appreciate you guys. King Life. Right here in 
Thornton, Colorado at the 11th annual Chicano Pride Ride. I'm gonna keep saying it. It's unreal what's happening right now. We still have one more hour before we leave. We got over a thousand bikes lined up, six rows. But uh, you guys are gonna check out more. I'm right here with TJ. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Good. You're you're, right, you got a Colorado right here. So what? How many uh, how many rides have you done with for this uh, event? This ride. Uh, that's my first year. Oh, for, really? For the Chicano Pride Ride. Okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, how would you hear about it? Uh, just been living in the metro area. You yeah. see, I've seen it the past couple years. So is that one of the? Do we go through there? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, is yeah. That, no, so that, that's downtown. This is my first ride as well, so I mean, yeah. this one. So. Well, I know there's five different spots. I believe they're all in the Thornton area. Okay. But uh, yeah, just down with the Chicano, so I wanted to come be a part of this ride. And how do you feel, man, about what, how they're giving back to the education foundation? I, lo I like love that. it. Yeah, yeah. I want to come support. So. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. TJ, appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. All right. Pleasure. Thank you. Too. Thank Thank you. you. All right, what's up, you guys? So we are, we're gonna be here for a while, okay? We've got all day. But I'm right here with Steve. Steve, how do you do, man? Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Good, likewise. And you're here from the Colorado area? Yeah, I'm here from Aurora, Colorado. Okay, nice. And how many rides have you done for the Chicago Pride ride? Uh, this is my third one. Really? Yeah. So you saw some growth happen? Oh, yeah. Uh, the first, uh, the last two were before COVID. Okay. I missed a couple years and then came back. And uh, well, so what do you think about like, the things that they're doing for the community, man? You think that's a positive, a oh, big positive impact? Oh, I think it's definitely positive, yeah, definitely. Getting all these people together, having yeah. fun, and riding for a good cause, you know what I mean? It's right. definitely nice. Everybody gets along. I've never seen any negativity at all, every time. So. You know, and that's huge, man, because a lot of people have this, not a lot, there's a there's people have a stigma about bikers, right? Yeah, exactly. So we get something like this with this many people just coming together, having a good time, oh, yeah. that speaks volumes, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you help each other out. Guy breaks down, you got 20 people right there working right. on the bike, lifting it up. It's nice, yeah. I, we, get you going for the year. It's like how I kick off every year. Nice, okay. Yeah. Then I'll start riding, you know, do some more rides the rest of the year, oh, bike yeah. nights. We always meet up on weekends, go up to the hills. Just gets, yeah. the, gets the season going. There's some beautiful riding out here. Oh, man, yeah. up in the mountains, evergreen. Nice. Right on. Steve, thank you, man. Appreciate right it. Right on. No thank problem, you. man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so I'm right here with Sarah. Sarah, we, did we have a little too much fun last night? Maybe? A little bit? A little bit. <laughs> last couple nights. <laughs> we were out there hanging out. But you guys, Sarah, you rode in. You ride, you yes. ride. And what, what, how many times have you ridden this event? Um, my first year was 2013. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. So far, okay. And, and so the whole thing, the whole cause, it, it, so you've seen some major growth then. Yeah. Oh, Compared yeah. Compared to the 2013 to today, how, how much has, I mean, is it pretty I dramatic? I think the first year, uh, first year that I rode, we were at about three, four hundred bikes. Oh wow! Last year was twenty three hundred. So wow. it's yeah, tenfold. Sarah, well, you have you be careful and have fun. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. All right, you guys, too. Keep going. All right, guys, what, what's up, man? Every, so I'm going to say this every time we come back because it's true. It's getting busier, more packed, more bikes. It's, and I keep saying it's ridiculous, but in a good way, in a good positive way. So I'm right here with Neff. What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? So where's you guys coming from? They bought from Salt Lake City. Nice. And they guys, you guys, you, there was a group of you guys, right? Yeah, there's about six of us right now. So I hung out with you guys last night as well. Probably a few people we interviewed and hung out with. So man, is this your guys' first ride out here? First time out here, man. So far, what do you think? Man, this is amazing. Like, they don't have this kind of culture out there in Salt Lake. So being out here with all the gente and all the, all the raza out here, man, is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm telling you guys, if you've never been here, and you gotta come here in person, whenever, if you're ever able to, you're gonna be mind blown. Neff, thank you, brother. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, man. Have Appreciate a seat it. Today. You too, brother. We'll see you at the end. Yes, sir.
All right, you know what? I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to hold back. California, you, why can't we do this? Colorado is on fire. What do you think? There's over 2,000 people here? Oh, gosh. If more. If, I, maybe I think, that's by a low number. I think we beat last year's record, man. They're, man, they're, they said we beat last year's record. Last year we had 2,300 bikes. Multiply that by people, you know what I mean? So it's just So real crazy. fast, you got Chicano Pride, Colorado. Chicano Pride Ride, Arizona. Chicano Pride Ride, Colorado. Chicano Pride Ride, Arizona. You, you know? guys are serious about California, let's make it happen. But let's get to why we're here. Manny, we're at Chicano Park. La Raza Park. La Raza Park. La Raza Park, three years ago, it was called Columbus Park. Councilwoman Amanda Sandoval changed it. We got it back to La Raza Park, and the rest is history. We've been doing things ever since day one with the Chicano Pride Ride, we came here. We never called it Columbus Park. We always called it La Raza Park. And when we officially changed it, man, it was just, it was that we're the happiest people on earth, you know, it's, it's our version of Chicano Park is La Raza Park, you know, and uh, I think she needed 1,600 signatures. We blew that out the door. She got thousands and thousands and thousands of signatures. So yeah. Hell yeah. Man. And you guys, you're going to hear me say it all day, but this is unreal. I, I'm not even exaggerating. This is unreal. And right here, we've got your granddaughter. My granddaughter. Well, the, the reason why we do the Chicano Pride Ride is to raise money for Latin American Educational Foundation. This is the reason, you know, uh, ah, yeah. We do it for our young, we do it for our young kids, man. You know, education is the key, you know. We gotta break that cycle right. of, you right. know, our kids not graduating, our kids not going to college. We gotta break that cycle. We do it one ride at a time. Right. Oh yeah, brother. Hey, brother. I don't want to say kudos sounds dumb, but goddamn kudos to you. Hey. This is insane. And you guys, this is just the first stop. This is in La Casa Park, first stop. We Let's do go. an annual photo. Um, hey, California. Come on, man. Get on the ball. I'll help you. <laughs> you heard it. Right there, the man. King Life. Let's go. Hey guys, so this is the first stop, and I'm gonna tell you right now, after this, we're not filming. Uh, it's ridiculous, we'll bleep that out. It's ridiculous, this is unreal. This is about 80% of this is the Chicano Pride Ride, and as you can see, it's it's insane in there. So we're only here about a half hour, and then we're out, which we're about to take off, but first stop, Dirty Dogs Roadhouse right here in Colorado, and uh, we're checking out until we get back to Harley because there's no way we could do this, it's insane in there. Colorado, you guys kick ass. Talk to you soon. Keep right. All right, guys, so right here at the third stop, this is, uh, uh, what is this again? Brewskis. Brewskis. And we're here last night having a good time. But Manny, this is, uh, this is unreal right here, right? Is this something you, ex did you expect this or is it, is it more than you thought or? When I first started this, I didn't expect this. I, uh, I, I what do we, we probably had 90 riders, maybe something like that. I'm not sure, but now we're, they, they, they're saying we broke last year's record. Maybe 2,500 bikes, I don't know. What do you think? I think there's more than that. You think there's more yeah. than that? It's uh, crazy, that line, I think somebody told me it was almost 50 minutes long. Wow. So, wow. hey, a lot of Chicano support, a lot of gente showing up, supporting us, you know, and it's uh, going for a good cause. And I'm glad Big Bob's out here oh, thank you, to bro. witness thank you, this. Hey, I'm, this is real. Whatever you've seen on social media, it's, it's probably bigger than what you saw. No exaggeration. Yeah, I, I, I think we're about, from earlier today, they said we're about $80,000 that we wow. uh, raised. So, hey, at the end of the day, I'd like to hit 100000 you know. And again, where does that money, the proceeds go to? 100% of, of, the, of the money goes to Latin American Educational Foundation. 100%. So, yeah. There it That's is. That's how we do it, brother. Appreciate you, brother. Hey, appreciate you coming down. Stay tuned. We're going to try to talk to some people. It's crazy here. King Life. <laughs> All right, guys. So right here, we're still here at, at uh, Brewski's. 
I'm right here with Bobo. Bobo, right? Bobo, yeah. Bobo. Uh, Bobo, you have a lot of history in this uh, in the ride. Tell us about it. Yeah, I, I started riding with uh, Manuel. Oh man, I can't remember the date anymore. But it was 11 years. Well, 13 years ago. Okay. Uh, we started riding. We had maybe 150 bikes, and it was so awesome back then. It was great because we were riding for a good cause. It was always for a good cause. So, uh, and now, now, now we went from 150 bikes to. I don't know what we got. This 150 year. bikes are probably about 3,000. Probably about 3,000. Yeah. I know last year we had like, I don't know, 1,200 bikes. Wow. But it, it's awesome. For a good cause. Yeah. For the Chicanos and uh, for the community, it's all a good cause, man. Right on, Bob. Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate thank it. Man. You. Thank you. Thank, thank you. You guys stay tuned. Be glad. All right, guys. I'm right here with Mark. And Mark, are you from You're from the Denver area? Originally El Paso. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. From Chuco Town. Okay. But, yeah. Moved here in 03. Wow. Uh, yeah. So this is old. Can't, can't take me out of it. Can't take me out of it. Yeah. You so take now me I'm away in, from it, but you can't take me out of it. I'm in Mark in January at the Denver Expo, at the uh, Colorado Expo. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So how, how was this? Is this your first time with this event? First time to this one, but I've always been around it. Right. Yeah. I just never rode, rode with everybody. So what do you think? Crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, 2,500 plus entries and right. 2,000 more to just tag along. Yeah. Good well, Mark, stuff. Well, we appreciate you, man. I appreciate yeah. seeing you as always. Oh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate you. you. Guys, stay tuned. King Life. What's up guys, Big Bob here. So we're back at Sun Harley. We had one more stop, but we had to get back here to take care of some stuff. But man, if you guys don't know who I'm with right now, I'm with Al Gringo Vicolas, man, out of, where are you from? From Austin, Texas right now. So Central Texas is what we're calling it. So real close to Austin, about 30 minutes um, north of Austin. So that's where we're kind of hanging over our hat right now. Now if you guys don't know, man, Gringo here, we, we've known each other for a while. He's even spent the night in my house. And uh, yes, we shut down the bar, actually. And took care of me. A little side note, a little side note. Took care of me, got a bike for me, and I went out yeah, there. Yeah, we went to Big Bear, hit up uh, Southern California. That was fun. But check this out, guys. So a lot of, a lot of the builders out there, Vicla builders, you know, they're Latino or Chicano or, or, or somewhat part of the heritage. You know, Richard here, gringo, you, you, you're white. And you embrace, but you just don't embrace the style. You embrace the culture. Yes, sir. Give us a little bit about that, man. Uh, so probably... What started it for me was probably in, in the Army. So I was in the Army for 28 years. I started doing low riders and stuff like that over the years. I've had multiple Impalas and stuff like that. Um, over the years, I just got tired of like trying to finish these Impalas. Right. So after year after year of like selling these Impalas off, after I moved from station to station, it got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm tired of moving all these Impalas and selling them and getting rid of them. So I've always been always in that style and stuff like that right. growing up. It was always there. Um, so after I started that and then I moved over to the bike scene, I was like, if I have like five, six bikes, I'll just load those in a trailer and we'll keep it moving to whatever we got to do. So that's what kind of started it off for me and that style kind of jumped over there and just, it crossed paths and just, I, I just love the culture. I right, love being right. around the people and it's always been that way. Hell yeah. I mean, I travel Phoenix, Arizona, I travel out to Cali. I mean, I just love it. I just enjoy it. It's a great time. And you're retired from the military now, right? Yes, sir. I, cool. I graduated. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. I, I retired, I should retired. say. <laughs> yeah. I graduated. I um, retired last year. Um, so just, that's what I'm doing full time now. When you wake up every day and you're doing something that you love, it's not really work. That's kind of the way I look mm. at it. Is I can either go out to the shop if I want to that day. It's not like I don't have to show up to work right, today. Right, right. It, it's, a, it's a good feeling, Bob. Now, you know, one thing I'm going to say about uh, Gringo Richard, sorry, I might go back and forth, is you have that SoCal flavor, which a lot of people, you know, the truth is, right, everything started in Southern California, right? Whether it's low riding, v class, you know, music, right? right? But you have that flavor not being from SoCal. Is that something that's just like in you or? I think it was just the art side of me probably. Um, I've always grew up around art. I've always been that artist in school coming up all the way through high school. Um, but I just kind of gravitated that style of art, yeah. that style of the paint jobs, just the, the, the flake, all that stuff is just beautiful to me. That's right, it's right. always been that way. I always like that catchy, catchy, like, like, wow, that's a piece of work of art. And that's yeah. always looked at it as like, it's either an art form or whatever it is. And it's what it's been for me. Hell yeah. Well, you guys stay tuned, man. We got something special in the works right here with uh, Gringo. We're heading out to Texas soon. Ooh, you guys stay tuned. King Life, thank you. Oh, no, I don't want, I don't want, 
I know it was glued. No, that's my signature. Yeah. That's my signature on my shoe. Is it? Yeah. That one's like the first one I ever did, so it looks a little rough, but it's always been the signature. And then Gemma wanted the, uh, what do you call it? The, she wanted a bat holder. Yeah. We did a little, what do you call it, a sombrero or whatever? Yeah, uh, yeah. A uh, damn uh, umbrella. That's a bat like a bat. Yeah. fuck around and find out, bat. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so right here with Richard from McDivitt Law Firm. And uh, McDivitt's actually been part of, helped us as well last year for that CFL Ball Run. They sponsored us to tell myself and Julio, tell us the things to come out and uh, uh, shoot the uh, Isaiah uh, Field Ball Run. But today, you guys have a big part of today's event as well, right? Correct. Uh, we're the title sponsors this year. So our owner grew up in Southern Colorado and thinks that education is the best thing and that everybody should have a good opportunity for an education. So right. that's why we like to sponsor rides like this. Great for the community. And let's say it's, it's a great turnout every time. Oh man, this is insane. I keep saying it and they're probably tired of hearing it, but this is, has been one of the probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has probably been one, <laughs> one of the best uh, events I've been to in all my years of riding. Yeah, I said it. So, Rich, thank you guys, man. All right, thank you, brother. Thank you. The McGill offer. You guys say too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're right here with Mike out of Utah, right? Utah, Ogden, Utah. Uh, and they're right here, man, in uh, Thornton, Colorado for the 11th annual Chicano Pride Ride. And what's the name of your company, bro? Rasa Style Cycles. And, uh, and what do you guys what do you guys put out exactly? Mainly just you know the Chicano biker gear, patches, hats, hoodies, uh, work shirts, stuff like that. And where can they find you guys? Um, RastaStyleCycles.com or uh, Facebook RastaStyleCycles. And you guys check this out. So Mike also you're trying to we're trying to make something happen in Utah, right? Yeah, Utah. It's a little slow because they're a little behind the time. Right, you know? right. So I, I'm just holding it down out there for the rasa. That's right. Well, we appreciate it, bro. Right on, brother. You guys check them out. Yep, check it out. Right. All right, guys. So I'm right here, man, with Viclista, my brother. We, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. You know what's funny? It's one of those relationships where we see each other everywhere. We talk on social media, but we never got to hang out. So you guys, we're going to have a special episode coming soon. Awesome. But, Rob, what do you got going on here, man? Because these are tagged with, with your symbol. These are tagged with my, with my logo. These are um, custom uh, raw leather Viclista boots. These are handmade, so these are botas artisanales. Wow. So they're not commercially made, there's a handcrafted boots. Right. So I, I wanted to do a Chicano style type boot because I, I'm more into the old school, like a Red Wing style, but okay. I wanted a biker style. Right, right. And so that's what I came up with. Those are beautiful. And can you order them online? Or? They can order them online at viclista.com. And, um, and they're all handcrafted, individually made, and they're made in the motherland in Mexico. That's right, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Now what, so, what's one of your muscle that you do for you? For you? My, my muscle line, probably right now, would be the, the riding shirts. And um, these are these are custom riding shirts. These are handmade right? too, right? Those are all handmade. We, these are handmade in San Diego, in California. Wow. I import the, the denim from Mexico, okay. and we do them there. So it's a true Chicano line. Wow. Yeah, you know, we made them into a pinta style. I put the, the snaps there, so they're gonna snap at you. Yeah. And these are, these are riding jackets, you know, they're long sleeves. It's the worst thing when you're riding on apes, and you have the pinchy jacket come up to you and it goes like that. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, like yeah. you got big arms. Right, right. You know, that's the worst thing that right. happens. So, yeah, I make them and design them. And so, this is actually designed for the Chicano Piker. Hell Same yeah. with the boot. They're wide. Mira. Boom. All right, so we're going to leave you right there. That's all we're going to give you for today. And we're going to get a full episode and let you guys know exactly and everything he does. But we hope you appreciate this and I appreciate you, bro. Thank Good you. Good looking out, man. Good yes, to sir. see you. Always a pleasure. Bro. Always. Always. We'll talk to you guys soon. King Life. All right, guys, so we've talked to people from California, Utah. Arizona soon, right here, and they're all here in Thornton, Cal uh, uh, Colorado, California. And here we are, man. We got a couple. And you guys, introduce From New us. Mexico, Noreen Goodaway. New Mexico. And we got your 04 electric light trike. Electric light trike. Now, we've been talking about this thing for almost about a year. <laughs> and so here we are. So, what are we done now? Maybe for now, at least we are. Yep. So what exactly did you do it before? What was it like before did, you got to this point? It was basic, basic. So it has to be girly. So we have the roses, and then I have the lowrider horn. In the back, I have the Latina style bumper, and it has the New Mexico emblem here in the so patio. So those wheels are those car wheels or those motorcycle wheels? No, they're cars. Do you have to like adjust or? They're day in, day 
Yeah. They're day-ins, yeah. yeah. You gotta just kind of clip the studs on them, put the spacers on it, the adapters, and then put the more. Yeah, yeah. You got a stereo system in here? Yeah. Okay, the boombox here. Yes. Uh, got a ear, got a ear. Oh, you got a okay, you got a setup. I like this thing. <laughs> yeah, I know for sure. And how's your ride with those with those tires? Awesome. So I you don't feel no difference with the uh, no, no difference at all. You got fish tails? Yes. Are they straight? Yeah. Straight pipe? And then I have my little bumper, Latina style. Mm. Do you actually pull <laughs> do you pull stuff with that? <laughs> No, we haven't pulled anything ever, huh? But yeah, there's a hitch on the So back will you let her, or is this for looks? No, she can pull it. Yeah. Yeah. She always likes to pull it. Yeah. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> this thing came out beautiful. Thank and you're saying, but you're saying, oh, it looks good to me. You're saying it, it pops, obviously, like all the paint jobs, they pop it's more in the sun. It's but... the sun, yeah. I'm can't over the, I can't get over the, the wheels, at the car wheels. The wheels that they're they're dates. Yeah. Dates. yeah. No, I think it's beautiful. And then you got your You got the center stand. Now is this is that the custom is that a factory paint job? It is. Really? Yeah, it's factory. It was a special edition that year, so of course I have to have it repainted but the same art. Oh it's the same, okay, okay. Every time I'd add a different fender. Yeah, yeah. You have the short fat boy fender. Short fat boy in the rear, so so you extended the the extended rear fender. The rear, put a heritage uh, front fender on it. And you got you got front air or just rear? Just rear air. Yeah, center stands are those center stands are bad. Yeah, they're pretty nice. They're pretty pretty sturdy. What you got three toggles for? Uh, it's got the up down and then it's got the rebound. You could drop it with air. That way you can uh, oh, get it right away. Yeah. Okay, okay. And it, it has a quick up. And then the, the other one is for the center stand to go up and down. Wow. Okay, were the colors on purpose or yeah. kind of? Yeah. <laughs> well, they were, we, when we met, they were like that. So okay, okay, okay. At the end of the day, yeah. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it for, for uh, talking with us. And Oh, is that a club or is that just your thing? Your, your own... Uh, Oh, okay. Bumper. Yeah, it's just a little bumper we made up. I heard you say it, but I, know, I didn't see it yeah, with uh, the emblem. Cool, huh? Yeah, it does. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, what's up, man? We're right here. It's just about over, not quite over, but uh, Malo's on stage right now, man. They're doing their thing. Here we am with Debbie out of Phoenix, Arizona. And Debbie, you do the Chicago Pride Ride out of Arizona, correct? Yes, that's correct. And what is it happening this year? Uh, so this year, it's October 21st, 2023, and it's at Roadrunner Harley-Davidson in Goodyear, Arizona. And also, guys, we're going to be there, but we're also going to do a Tales of a Queen on Debbie. And uh, Debbie doesn't ride a road king. No, it's mine. That's a joke. What, <laughs> what a is mutt. it? It's a mutt. It's a mutt. It's a mutt. It's a, we'll figure it out that day. That thing looks like a road king, but it's a beautiful bike. It's a beautiful bike besides Thank that. You. But October 29th? Yes, 21st. October 21st, you guys. And where, where is it? At Goodyear Roadrunner Hardy Davidson. Now, do you run like this, or is it just a, a rally type? It's, it's the same thing, kind okay. of the same thing, a poker setup. Um, you know, we give away some gift cards to first, the second, and third place okay. uh, poker winners. We have a band, a DJ, kind of, same kind of setup. We have three different stops. So, yes, same okay. kind of setup. October 21st, you guys. We'll see you there. Debbie, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We'll I got there. so nervous. No, I don't you're know good. Why, but King Light. All right, man, that's a wrap. The 11th annual Chicano Pride Ride right here in Thornton, Colorado. It was a blessing to have my bike here, my 2005 Road King Classic. Thanks to my buddy David who pulled it here. You know, it was an awesome uh, time with my family, about my wife and my daughters. You know, but not only that, Colorado, this is our fourth time here in the last, what, year and a half? I'm talking to Julio behind the camera. And, uh, and every time, man, Colorado, you show up and you show out, it's all love, it's all fun. I mean, it's all good vibes here, and we just want to say thank you so much. Thank you to Manny. We appreciate you, brother, for having us and, and, and uh, putting this up. And everyone, and everyone that was here this whole weekend, we appreciate all of you. 
You guys, we hope you enjoyed this special edition of Tales of a King. We'll talk to you soon. King Life.